Chief Minister Nongto Mamirade inaugurates the second state-level Shiroi Festival at Shiroi Village Ground today. Manipur University Wigs kicks off today. Minister Karam Sham called on the youth for timely discharge of duties for fruitful reasons. And Kaile Park Students Association stays sit in demanding removal of a non local appointed by Manipur Public Service Commission as principal of the college. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. First up, Chief Minister Nongtoma Mirain inaugurated the second state level Shiroi Festival at Shiroi Village Ground today. The Chief Minister has appealed to the people of different communities to forget the past differences and issues and live together in peace and harmony much in the way people of the state have joined hands to protect the Shiroi Lili. Birain also inaugurated a cruel woman market after the launch of the festival. The second Shiroi Lili festival, organized by Manipur Tourism Department with an aim to promote and protect Shiroi Lili, an endemic and rare flower in the world, will conclude on April 28. The second Shiroi festival is being conducted satisfactorily this year, although a lot of inconveniences due to rain and time constraint for arrangement were faced last year. Speaking at the inaugural event, the Chief Minister asserted that Developing cultural and emotional bone is important to bring unity among the people of different communities in the state. Birin said the announcement of 205 crore rupees fund for Ukrul district by the new government is to initiate a total of 29 projects. He said 29 projects out of the total projects have already been sanctioned and works for the remaining 8 projects are in progress. Birin also reminded that the district sports complex and other government offices were already inaugurated in the district. The chief minister also launched an exhibition in connection with the festival at TNL Ground in Ukrul headquarters. The main venues of the festival are Shiroi Village, Baksi Ground and TNL Ground. Renowned USA-based rock band and cultural troops from different states of India are taking part in the festival. On the other hand, parts of the Shiroi guest house at Ukrul caught on fire around 1.30 this afternoon. The fire reportedly started from the kitchen of the guest house. Ukrul fire service team immediately rushed at the spot and prevented the fire from spreading further to other parts of the guest house. Chief Minister Birain and other officials who were in Ukrul to participate in the second Shiroi Lili festival inspected the site. Earlier in the day, Chairman Kam, Managing Director of Babina Groups, Dr. Thangjum Dhabali, flagged off a cycle rally entitled Shiroi Lili MTV Cross Country in Fal Ukrul in connection with Shiroi Lili Festival 2018 from Kumalam Park, ISBT. The cycle rally was jointly organized by Chiko Adventure Ukrul and Paddle Effect. Cyclists from Nepal, Guwahati, Manali, Kohima and Imphal participated in the 84km cycle rally. PD Minister Karam Sham called on the youth of the state to perform their duties on time for fruitful results. He was speaking today at the launch of Manipur University Wake on the theme Unity is Strength, Knowledge is Power, Attitude is Everything. 
The minister also inaugurated the university's annual sports and book fair on the occasion. Speaking further as the chief guest, Karam Sham asserted that education is above money. He maintained that when knowledge acquired is not utilized for welfare works, it will go wasted. Karam Sham expressed a desire for the students to take active roles in converting the materialistic world into a spiritual world. He also called on the need for a policy to eradicate corruption from the state which is hampering the future of the youth. He affirmed to lead in combating corruption in the state and further appeal to the youth for their cooperation. Knowledge is power. Education the yamna highest level la lagni na ishagi gyan hai bapotu di lai ra bapoli. Adu bo yamna wakal ma pung bhava gyan lai ra hai bapsi di akui nhekta khan maya di. Maram di akui jo saatra wale sumbas tez yorakta na adi ma pandal arlai chu tam dana maru ma pang maya ma maloi na rupa samaz ki thabak maya ma ma tarupa kando da. Education ki mangal do kharap phanga bani na akui na matam do da khallev akui na khalli ba ati ki akui na tauri sna chum bani na khallev akui na maruhi rehi se akui matam do da khallev ado ta sing bani masi lalam me knowledge city experience sagi laak da bani Members of Kangle Park Students Association (KSA) stays a certain in front of MPSC office in North AOC, condemning the Manipur Public Service Commission (MPSC) for appointing a non-Manipuri, identified as Wan Gopal Chandra, back as the principal of a college. Reportedly, Gopal Chandra hails from Howra in West Bengal and is currently residing at a rented apartment in Pauna Bazar. Speaking to media person, KSA President Ning Thaujam Chetan stated that despite various students' organizations in the state campaigning against the appointment of outsider in any MPSC post, Gopal Chandra Bak was the sixth among the 14 college principals selected in the notification issued by the MPSC on November 9 last year. Chetan questioned the decision and further inquired as to how the individual concerned acquire a permanent residential certificate. He called on authorities concerned to take disciplinary action against the Secretary of MPSC and the SDO concerned involved in the same. He also warned of intense agitation if government fails to fulfill their demand. <laughs> Manipur Public Service Commission ki eligible criteria number three permanent residential of Manipur high basic thubairaga posting special ba ebsi yamna live ekti bani makhata na akoi kaise na government taaj bo masi khongsang asi lepa lete na changsang gini amasung Gopal Chandra Bak asi dana tana concern oiri ba SDO amasung MPSC ki chairman secretary asi bo masagi duty masakhang dia na mo asi government na lakho kada bani amasung disciplinary action lau kada bani. Sagolmang Police Station Imphali is a district in a press release informed that a decomposed that body of a woman was found at Kalianching Okilu Harao Ro, 6 km southwest from Sagolmang Police Station on April 23rd around 4.30 p.m. The woman was found clad in a pink and a white shirt, a multicolor scarf and orange fanek with light green moirang fee border and white footwear. The body has been deposited at Jenim's mortuary for identification. Sagulman police informed the relatives to claim the body. Langthabal Kunjamaya Ilaikai Mairapai Billob and Divine Line Club Langthabal Kunja organized a sit-in at Langthabal Kunja Market against the planting of bomb near Langthabal Kunja Mayai Laikai Pukri Atoba on National Highway No. 102 Indo Burma Road by unknown miscreants on 20th of this month today. Speaking to media persons, General Secretary of Mairapai Bilob, Moirangthem Dayabati, said similar incident had occurred some time ago at the same area. She questioned, who will take the responsibility if the bomb had exploded, causing injuries and death? 
Dayabati appealed to those concerned not to repeat such act which terrified people and further appealed to clarify the act. She also drew the attention of the government to find out the truth behind the incident and take measures to stop such act in the future. <laughs> A peace rally espousing befitted punishment for rapists took out at Lilong today. The rally was jointly organized by All Manipur Muslim Development Committee, AMMDC, United Forum, Youth Forum, UYF, Lilong, and Kiangwe Social Development Organization, KSDO, against the recent gang rape of a minor girl at Kathua in Jammu and Kashmir. The peace rally from Lilong Usoi Pokpi to Lilong Hainong Makong, Idihak demanded befitted punishment for the culprits involved. Yaife Lamjing Kangloop in the press leaves demanded the government to revoke its decision to shift the Imphal East District Hospital from Sagolmang. The organization also appealed to the government to construct the hospital at Sagolmang, which is at the center of Kundrakpong constituency and Saikul constituency and where the foundation for the construction has been already laid. Anti-smuggling unit Custom Division has seized 30 gold biscuits imported from aboard, estimated to be worth around 1.5 crore rupees in the international market. Acting on the tip of a team led by Assistant Commissioner of Customs Division, R.K. Dharendrajit, conducted frisking operation in and around Lamlong Market today. During the operation, the police seized gold biscuit weighing around 5 kg from one Mohammad Yashin, aged 30 years, son of Mohammad Rahmad from Sangai Yumfam in Thawal district. The seized gold was produced before media person at custom office in Sangakpam today. A case was registered against the same and investigations are underway. <laughs> Whole night, I think the lady now going to miss the pan of the owner of Kuneva. I do luckily eject information with Nina, Nasisi, Sum Sumba me, Hariba Missi dress, my song Chada, Sumba Nupamana, a quick gold ship Puraga, Lamlong Lunda Lakani, Habitiki, Lamlong Lunda Nairaga, quick missing you, all missing she, quick besassing a quick casing, low in a dress Lerga to civil dress Lerga, quick me singing Hajiki. Gold for every Missy Panel, Lamlunda, Lumagalay, whenever. Lamlunda, Parapani. Bisnupur District Police Commando, in collaboration with 5 by 11 GR, acting on a tip off, conducted a search operation at Ningto Kong, Ward number 13, on April 22nd and apprehended an active member of Proskive Group UNLF. The arrested person is identified as Wan Oinam Basanta Singh, Elias Amujo, 33 years, son of O Suranjoy from Sang sorry, Changa Chingka Laihau Thaba Laikai. Manipur Police PRO in a press release informed that a case was registered at Bisnupur Police Station and investigations are underway. It's time for small commercial break. After the break, we bring you reports on the nationwide National Panchayat Day observance in the state. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. As observed across the country, Fumlo Gram Panchayati, in association with the Department of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, also observed the National Panchayat Day at Fumlo Community Hall in Fumlo today. Speaking on the occasion, General Secretary, Admin of BJP. Manipur K. Sarat Kumar highlighted the three main objectives of day's observance, which are to short out Gram Panchayat Development Plan, mobilization of own resources, and identifying those who have done exemplary works or those who have contributed significantly for the well being of Panchayat. 
Addressing the gathering, General Secretary BJP Manipur and Nimbus appeal to the locals to work relentlessly for achieving a better Manipur. Oinam Thing El Gram Panchayat also observed the National Panchayat Day at Khongnang Phaidekpi in Imphal East today. A panting competition for the students with an aim to the village neat and clean was also held to mark the observance. A special Gram Sabha was held by Torban Khetri Laikai Gram Panchayat at Akampar to mark the National Panchayat Day observance today. Speaking to media persons, Member Secretary Manipur Khadi and Village Industry Board N. Jogindro stated that the Sabha will discuss on matters relevant to Torban Khetri Laikai development for future. Children of class 1 to 5 of Torban Khetri Laikai took part in the drawing competition held as a part of the observance. Pansite and Nathan Pansite Day and Pantok Sediba Sea. Torval Catrilakai Gram Pansite, Asida, Leviriva Isil in our single Sigi, Yamnun Sizaba, Cooperation as CP Dunai, Maruena, Torvan Catrilakai Gram Pansite, a sea. Quite the Gianovari with this, say he could think it south of Pagawaba, Punuma say, a quiggy, Maman Pabikriba, Pradhan Singh, Member Singh, Aduga, Gram, Sida Leviriva Isil in our singer, Lingzen Amat Oina, a sea. The nationwide Panchayat Day observant was also held at various places in Bishnupur district today. Kaino Gram Panchayat organized the observant at Thongkong Community Hall while Ngaikong Kulen Gram Panchayat observed today at Ngaikong Kulen Gandhi Bazaar. Manipur Science and Technology Council Mastic in a press release informed that a five-day state-level mega science festival will be held at the National Institute of Electronic and Information Technology, Nelith Akampad, from May 11 to May 15. State Academy of Training, which was declared as the State Apex Institute following the State Training Policy 2013, intends to provide various new training programs on top of the existing ones. Additional Director of the Academy, MCS, Aribam Shivadas, stated that the full-fledged academy will be more established if adequate infrastructures, including an auditorium, a library, a guest house, staff quarters, accounts training hall, etc. are made available in the academy. The additional director made the statement to media person as a part of the series of press made initiated by Directorate of Public Relations DIPR since February 24 this year at DIPR Complex today. Speaking further, Sivada said that utilization of the Academy's training block hostel by Manipur Technical University has hindered full swing classes of the Academy. He also said that they are lacking regular faculty staff and drivers of the Academy as new employees are not recruited after the old ones retired. The additional director of the Academy also mentioned that a skill development center was opened at the Academy on top of the existing apparel making and computer literacy trainings. He said, Dodd Academy has faculty members for computer, finance and accounts, service matters and law, faculty members for other training courses are hired from outside to carry on the classes at present. Technical University, see, 
Secretary State Election Commission SEC Radhamani Muttam Muttum briefed on the functions and working of the SEC Manipur as a manly for supervisory nature and control in the conduct of general panchayat election, gram panchayats and zilla parishads, municipalities and autonomous district council besides by election to fill up any vacant seats in these local bodies. Speaking to media person at the press conference held today at the IPR office in Moirangkom, she said that during the recent election in October 2017, the SEC successfully completed election to the fifth general panchayat election covering six valley districts of the state to elect 60 Jilla Parishad members, 161 Pradhans and 1,514 members of Gram Panchayat constituencies. The secretary called on the executive officers concerned to collaborate with the police department to resolve any issue in case any complaint arises in connection with local election. She asserted that conduct of election at the local level is tougher and needs joint effort as it demands working at the micro level in a time-bound manner. Patriotic Writers Forum has today extended monetary support of 10,000 rupees to the two children whose parents were killed in different road mishab recently. On April 11, the mother of the two children was killed in a road mishab while she, along with her nine-month-old son, was returning home in Sekmai in an auto rickshaw, carrying her husband's lifeless body from hospital who succumbed to injuries from an earlier road accident. Patron member of the forum, Dr. S. Manautone, also announced that the forum will bear all education expenses of the children until class 12 at Janet Academy. United Clubs IMC Ward No. 4 Uripok has also extended financial help to the two girls who lost their parents in the separate accidents. Umbilical Theatre's drama Hojang Tarit, under the direction of O.S.A. Saugajam, backed the Best Actor in a Lead Role Female, Best Actor in a Supporting Role Female and Best Innovative Sound Design Award at the 13th Mahindra Excellent in Theatre Awards Meta Festival 2018. Hojang Tarit was nominated for 11 award categories including Best Play and Best Direction out of the total 14 award categories of the theatre festival held from April 13 to 18 in New Delhi. K. H. Sanatombi backed the Best Actor in a Lead Role Female, K. H. Nganthoilaima backed the Best Actor in a Supporting Role Female, while H. Anil Kumar clinched the Best Innovative Sound Design Award. Khetri Mayum Ongbi Muktamani from Manipur was conferred the True Legion Awards 2018 by Telegraph Enterprising at Taj Bengal in Kolkata yesterday. She was selected for the award which is begin to sorry which is given to 10 selected individuals for their immense contribution in various fields. Receiving the award, Muktamani mentioned that her crochet woolen shoes are made of indigenous materials with dedication by women. It may be mentioned that Muktamani was also accorded with other prestigious awards, namely 
Society Group Micro Entrepreneurship Award 2006, National Award Micro Small and Medium Enterprises 2008, Manipur State Award to Master Craftsman 2008-2009, Basundara Northeast Women Entrepreneur of the Year 2013-2014, etc. Franchise of Little Millennium Preschool Imphal East and Imphal West, Sanaita Thangjum was conferred the excellent award at the Little Millennium National Meet 2018 held at Holiday Inn Resort of Mobor Beach in South Goa yesterday. Little Millennium Education Private Limited organized the event as an acknowledgement and encouragement for the preschools which play a significant role in educating young children across the nation. Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited MSP DCL in a press release informed that 11 kV Lilong Hauka feeder will not supply electricity from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on April 26 and 27 for repair work of Ko sorry of Kongba Thobal 132 kV transmission line. Sanamahi Inat Lining Loina Shalon Apun Lub Silal held a discussion meet on Tangai Fadaba Lining Lashonga Mari Laina Basing at Lining Thau Sanamahi Thagal Kanglub Sanglen in Palace Compound today. Speaking at the sidelines, Executive Member of Silai L. Poreton stated that discussion meet was organized mainly to discuss on the current trend of the combining various cultures and traditions with the values of lining thou lining. He lamented that these days cross cultures are observed in the use of musical instruments or performing arts during traditional rituals. He urged to the artists across the state and individuals concerned to stop combining various cultures and tradition and to uphold the true value of one religion. Advisor Silal Chana Lukhoi, President of Uttra Sanglen, Angom Amubi and President Silal and Ningtem Jao were among those present at the meet. In that line, Ningi, like twenty twenty two was it up, lining a two pachiga, Yan and Chinabagi, Tongama, Yam Katna Toroka, Equishanami, lining Chet Liba, Ipai Pugi, Kungul Lidi by Queen of Pam Jerishi, Yaragadi, Equi Amaga Magayan Chinarushi, I would put them in Hajar Kanda, when Lana Taurungi, Taurumzida, when you go to Gipunga even a heck, Masida Taurumzida, Shuruk Yasalapa, a two palining who look you up on the net day, a Taudubu. I go to Ipai Pushing, I am the one of the Jadana, Saname Hing, Ihogi, Kui, Ipai Pugi, Kungu, Lija, Vigita, Kakashi, Oxila, Christi, I go Yam Shing, I am Chumna, I go to Saname, Lining, Lisset, I go to Chege, I send me a canoe, I do I go to Shinjeroi, Highway Canon in a family. The Steiner Initiative, a project by Rutak IIT Bombay, funded by the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region and implemented by Northeastern Region Community Resort Management Project, Narcom, on floating fish case for inland aquaculture, was inaugurated by Joint Secretary, the Ministry of Donor S. N. Pradhan at Mata Moltam Village in Churachanpur district yesterday. Speaking to media person, Director Administration Narkom K. Hirikesh said that the project is initiated to increase tenfold the population of fishes through practices of proper organic fishing. He also requested to partner NGOs to come together and refrain from unethical fishing using dynamite, battery and chemical fishing so that the initiative can be successful. Principal Scientific Advisor Dr. Ketaki Bapat, Managing Director Narkom Dr. Sailendra Chaudhary, DC Churachanpur IAS Shamlal Punya, SP Churachanpur, Rakes Balwal and District Project Director Narkom Kuala Baipai were among those present at the event.
Socialist Students Union of Manipur SSUM in the press release question the center and the state government for not fully removing armed forces special power act from Manipur despite claiming that the law and all the situation in the state has improved at the wake of the act being fully removed from Meghalaya and its parts from Arunachal Pradesh Now the sports news Jim Kagempali will meet Cyclone Thangwei Ban in the final of the second T Subol Memorial Batharian T20 Cricket Tournament. In the second semi-final match played today at the ground of Orendal College and Model Higher Secondary School, winning the toss, Jim Kagempali batted first and scored 113 runs in the stipulated 20 overs with 9 wickets down. Jim Kagempali's I Ibobi scored 52 runs from 45 balls in the innings. While judging cricket club scored just 78 runs in 19.1 overs with all the 10 wickets down and lost to Cyclone Thangwei Ban by 35 runs. All-rounder of Jim Kagempali I Ibobi was awarded the man of the match title. Seven teams took part in the tournament organized by T Subol Memorial Trust under the aegis of Manipur Batarian Cricket Association. Secretary of Manipur Basketball Association in a press release notified that the Manipur State Sub Junior and Youth Basketball Championship 2018 will be held from May 14, 2018 at Model Club Basketball Gra- Court in Chingamakha, Imphal. The eligible age criteria for participating at the tournament for sub junior category is 13 years and for the youth category is 16 years. The press release of further inform the eligible boys and girls to submit their entries along with their aadhar cards at Dharmalaya Hall Nahabam Imphal East before May 10. And before we wrap up let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nolto Mambirain inaugurates his second state level Shiroi festival at Shiroi village ground today. Manipur University wakes kicks off today. Minister Karam Sham called on the youth for timely discharge of duties for fruitful reasons. And Kanglai Pass Students Association says sit in and demanding removal of a non-local appointed by Manipur Public Service Commission as principal of a college. 